it is Friday. What day is it, babe? Friday the 21st. Friday the 21st of July, and I am on my way to go get some tests done at Dexa Fit Boca. I'm getting my body fat percentage tested and my resting metabolic rate to see how good my metabolism is since this is something I've been working on since the beginning of the year. So come along with me. We're gonna learn a lot. I'm so excited. Ready to get my metabolism checked? I preach about it, so we'll see how I can, what, do they have an expression for that? Like, talk what you preach or? Practice what you preach. What you, preach. you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Whoa. Whoa, only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hit the road when you're missing home You only know you love her when you let her go But you let her go Uh, uh, look See, I remember when I met you as a sophomore Started out as friends, but I knew that we would want more Hit your favorite restaurant, with your favorite dress on That's one of my favorite memories that I've kept on the road with me I know it's crazy how things change so quick Went from rock bottom to all this fame and shit But look, I couldn't love you, but I wished I could um, But you're about 13.9% body fat, so that's super really? lean Yeah, if you look at your What's age like normal? So I'm 26, 20. you find your age up here Oh, okay and we said you were 13.9, so you're like right here. Like you, um, oh wow, yeah, you're really lean. Like if you go lower than um, like 12% into the 10% range, and that's it a can competition. Be, yeah, but it can be really dangerous for people, uh -huh. especially women, because we start, you know, once we get down to past a certain body fat percentage, we start losing our periods and our hormones right. get crazy. And that's something that you never want to do, just mm -hmm. because the repair to your the the damage done to your body is hard to repair. Yeah. Um, just because. Because women need fat for our reproductive organs. Um, right. you know, it's just biology. Mm -hmm. So when you go past that stage, you're yeah. really messing with biology. And I've, I've lost my period in yeah. the past four months because yeah, of probably age. because you went down in your carbs mm -hmm. and you know Gained like yeah. Oh. Thousand calories a day. Yeah, you know, that's completely it's terrible. terrible. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So you've been there, done that. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel good. Right. But you definitely don't want to do that, Never especially again. if you plan on having children in the yes. future. Yeah. So, um, you're you're really like I said, you're right there. You're teetering there. That's you know, surprising. Me. Wow. Yeah. No. Oh you're super super lean, and you can definitely tell it here on the actually like um. We were just talking about when you were having your scan. This is a traditional two D X ray image that you've probably seen if you've ever had an X ray. Yep. Um, and then this is kind of like a heat signature map, okay. essentially. Um, it's a color map of your muscle and your fat. So the muscle is represented by the red in this oh. picture, and the, the fat is um, represented by yellow. So as you can tell, you don't have very much at all. <laughs> that is so That's all fat. To me. I'm always like, oh, my legs are just carrying all this fat, but... No, I mean, you I have mean, very... The majority of it. So yeah, this is what I was talking about by seg segments by region. So okay. your arms, left to right, you're anywhere from mm -hmm. 5 to... Uh, 5.9, um, mm -hmm. which is a normal variance. Um, so your right arm's a little stronger because that's your dominant side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you have a pound of fat, looking at that whole numbers, in each arm. So that's okay. gonna be like, you know, right here, women right. usually carry yeah. back there. Um, your legs left to right, you do have a, um, a little bit of a difference here oh, um, cool. between your left and your right legs. So your left leg is about 15 pounds of lean mass and your right leg is about 17. So that's about a 2% different. I don't okay. know if you've ever had any injury there. Never. Okay. Just probably training. Yeah. Or like right. favoring one side. So yeah, I would be cognizant of that and maybe that's do awesome. a little bit more reps and more weight on that side just to this kind of beef so that up. helpful. Right, isn't it? Holy crap. And then you have about four pounds of fat in uh, each leg. Okay. So that's probably gonna live here and here on the inner thighs, you know, yeah. and just we just hold there. That's just us. Even yeah. your stomach has like no fat, babe. No, no. You're I was getting right there, uh, the Android region here. So you have about six point eight pounds of total mass in that area, you have half a pound of fat and six point two pounds of lean muscle. Wow. So you're really lean being there. That's um, your gynoid, which is your hips and buttocks area, is box right here. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, almost three pounds of fat and 15 and a half pounds of lean mass, so that's really good. Yes, I work hard on that Yes, area. you do. <laughs> and it shows. Yeah. This, is, this is a good trophy to have. That's so, awesome. moving on to the visceral fat, as we briefly touched on earlier, this is the bad fat that suffocates oh, your okay. organs. You have like none. Oh, good. You're like, you're like almost zero. Oh, good. Boy, so, boy, this boy, is good. Okay. You know, the maximum for women is a pound or less. 
Okay. Um, there is no stipulation on minimum though. So we'll move on to your metabolic test. I'm so interested in this. <laughs> I cannot wait. I've been working so hard. I I'm know. Freaking metabolism. It'll be interesting for you to see. So that way you can tell if your macros are on point yes. or if you need a little bit more work. Mm -hmm. So we'll get started there. So you're burning 100% more carbs over uh, fats based on your respiratory exchange rate, you know, your your heart rate, your respirations, and the amount of oxygen versus CO2. I was trying to breathe normal. It's hard when you're- Yeah, it is hard. Like, but you're, you're pretty regular. Well, was I? Okay, okay, so, okay yeah. I was trying. Yeah, your metabolism is really slow though. It's like 25% slow. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? So, so it means that um, you're probably under eating just a little bit. Okay. And you're eating how many calories? Um, uh, 2,335 calories. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a lot to do with, um, you know, you said you messed your metabolism up, you know, in previous years and yes. stuff like that. So I think that's what it is. I mean, it's just a little slow because and of that. And I like, it was recent, like January 1st of this year was the day I started to rebuild my metabolism. So like December, I was still severely under eating. It takes a long time for somebody who has done long-term metabolic damage to your body, you know, for it to kind of catch up, like six or nine months for it to start becoming regular again. Right. So if you just started, you know, in December, you know, we're about seven months in. Yeah. So. And that's why I'm taking this whole year and not rushing to a competition because. Yeah. No, you're I, doing it the smart way because, yeah. you know, with, with the amount of damage that you've done, making it slower, um, you have a good coach. So yeah. that, that, that makes a difference. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back from my body testing and I just wanted to do like a quick overview of how I felt about it and if I would recommend it to anybody else. Hell yes I would. The BMR, or not the BMR, the DEXA scan, the scan that tested my body fat percentage and showed my muscle versus my fat, so helpful. I am so happy I got that done. It really opened my eyes to show me how much muscle I actually have because I don't think I give myself enough credit honestly. Um, and I'm really shocked to see how lean I am. I know you might think I'm lean, but I've always had body image issues, so it's hard for me to admit that I am lean. It's hard for me to give myself a compliment. So it's really awesome to see all my hard work in an x-ray form. It's just so cool. And my takeaway from that is now I'm gonna work on my left leg. I found out that my left leg is two pounds, has two pounds less muscle than my right leg, and that's a pretty big difference. I'm right side dominant, so now I'm just gonna work on single leg exercises, banging out a couple more reps on my left leg, using a little bit heavier of a weight, so that was really helpful. And also, it made me so proud of my glute, growth because I work so hard. I lift really heavy and to find out that I have almost 16 pounds, 15.8 pounds of muscle on my glutes and only like six pounds of fat on my glute area. Um, just so happy with those numbers. But wanted to talk about metabolic damage. Now, according to my testing, my metabolism is ex like unhealthily slow, like very, very, very slow. And after talking to the woman who did my test, after talking to my coach, Paul Rebellia, after me looking at all the documents, something just isn't right with that test. Uh, something, it can't be right. Um, it says that at rest, at complete rest, if I laid in bed all day long, I only burn 970 calories and my total daily energy expenditure. So what that means is, what I burn at rest and then what I burn doing activity, normal daily activity, my workouts, all of that combined. It says that I should only be burning 1390 calories. And this is why I don't agree with what the test said because if I'm only burning, let's say 1400 calories a day with all of my activity, but I'm eating 2,300 calories, I'd be gaining a lot of weight. And each week I'm either down a little bit of weight or I maintain the same weight. So something, there's a little bit of a disconnect there. I did the math and according to that metabolic test and, and then adding in the food that I eat, according to the test, it says that I'm at a 6,300 calorie surplus. 
If that was true, then I would be gaining two pounds of fat a week, which I'm not. The scale is not going up two pounds a week. My body fat percentage and all of that testing showed that I was very, very lean. So it just doesn't make sense because if that metabolic test was correct, I wouldn't be showing as lean on my DEXA scan and I would be gaining weight instead of maintaining or slowly losing. So something was definitely wrong there. I don't agree with it. My coach said, absolutely not. You have a fantastic metabolism. I'm at 2,300 calories, over 300 grams of carbs, 72 fat. I eat a lot of food and I maintain a very lean physique and I don't gain weight. So something was wrong there. I'm definitely going to go back maybe in like six months and get those tests done again. I will still be in my bulking phase, um, my lean bulking phase, probably winding down, getting closer to cutting, but I really want to see in six months where that machine says my metabolism is. I want to know if I've made progress or if I get completely different results. I'm really interested to see. And then with my body fat testing, I want to see if my body fat is still the same, if I've gained more muscle, if I actually lost muscle. I really want to keep up with these tests. So. I highly recommend if you're interested in finding more about your body composition, if you're interested in finding out kind of like the science behind your body and not just what you see in the mirror, actually what is going on inside your body, 100% get, look in your area for a DEXA scan because it was amazing. And the metabolic testing, it really should be accurate. For me, I just don't agree. Um, the woman said that it could just be my metabolism is still slow because of all the damage that I have done. So I do still think I have work to do on my metabolism. I'm not saying that the test 100% was wrong. Um, I did a lot of damage to my metabolism for pretty much my whole life. In high school, I would wake up with my mom at five o'clock in the morning, go do cardio, and at lunchtime, I would eat two wedges of laughing cow cheese with whole wheat crackers or a lean cuisine meal, and then maybe a protein bar a little bit later in the day, and then I would have soccer practice. And so I was very, I was under eating. And then after high school, I went through some personal stuff and through college, nutrition and working out was completely not anything I was interested in. So I would party and I would eat McGriddles, Slim Jims, mozzarella sticks and live off of Red Bull and that was my diet. So I was at all different types of extremes for a really, since I was 17 years old. So I've done years and years and years of damage to my metabolism and it takes longer than just a few months to really rebuild it. She said it could take six to nine months and sometimes it could take a full year to really, depending on the damage that you've done. So I am still a work in progress. This is why this is called series rebuild because I am working on rebuilding my metabolism after years of severely under eating or overeating. So I'm definitely gonna go get these tests done again, maybe in the next six months, see where I'm at, compare them to the tests that I got today and I highly recommend you research in your area to see if any of these tests are available. It's the DEXA scan DXA and um, RMR is resting metabolic rate testing, which tests your metabolism, which is very helpful finding out your, what your macro should be, what you burn and all of that. So they are running a special at DEXA Fit Boca in Boca Raton, Florida. If you go in and say that Christina sent you, you get 50% off of any test, which is $75 for any test. That's huge. Take advantage of this offer and just find out more about your body. Find out what areas are holding more fat. I thought my legs held more fat than they actually do and that's actually muscle that I have and it's not just big from fat you know so you will learn so much I hope this video was helpful if you were interested in all of that any questions please hit me up in the comment section below like this video if you found this information helpful and I will see you guys soon bye bye